guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and this is going to be a tag video. This is the I'm Still Here tag, which was started by Jody, also known as uh, Yodeling Yoda, I believe is the name of her channel. Uh, yeah, Yodeling Yoda, which I would say, yeah. Anyway, um, she's a fairly recent new discovery for me, um, but she started this tag video, which was the I'm Still Here tag, in light of a lot of the changes that had been made to YouTube um, to do with smaller YouTubers, so like people like me, um, where uh, four days ago, five days ago, um, all of my videos were demonetized because I don't have enough subscribers and I don't have a high enough uh, view time. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, I know it's upsetting for a lot of people that that happened, but for me it was kind of like, uh, it's not really why I do YouTube anyway, and if it was I would be failing miserably. <laughs> but I did get my first payment. I've been on YouTube for, uh, been making videos in like four and a half years. Um, and I just managed to hit the threshold, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to get into these questions. Um, the first question is, how old is your channel? Uh, I uploaded my first video on the 9th of December 2013. So, the 9th of December this year, it will be five years old. So, uh, number two, why did you start your channel? Um, I'm, I like to create stuff, um, and I like to interact and I like to pass on information to other people and teach them things and um, YouTube seems like a good way of doing that. Uh, I don't tend to interact on a face-to-face um, -face level very much. I'm not very comfortable with people, people, but the camera is, it's, it, and I know there are people watching it, it's just, it's not the same thing. Um, and it gave me something to do and, and I, I sort of discovered a love for makeup and nail polish and I discovered all these people on YouTube who had the same kind of love so it seems like something to do. Um, why do you keep making videos? Because I, uh, I enjoy it. Sometimes I don't enjoy it. Sometimes it just seems like, oh, I've got to film a video. I'm going to edit a video, but that's usually when I'm having a bad day, but like the people that I've met and the interactions I've had with other people and it, that makes it worthwhile and I enjoy that, like I enjoy engaging with my subscribers and engaging with other people on YouTube and yeah, I just, I, I like the creative process, so it's, you know, there's that. <laughs> Um, number four, three big over 100,000 subs, uh, YouTubers who inspire you. Um, one would be a Graveyard Girl. She's, even though she's got a ridiculous number of subscribers, she doesn't need my support. <laughs> she's got a ridiculous number of subscribers. She's she's still making videos pretty much the same way that she made them when she was starting out. She hasn't really, she hasn't done that huge make everything all shiny and bright and, you know, overly production type of thing. She's keeping it fairly simple and basic and she makes you feel like you can attain that yourself because she's not doing the big production number thing and yeah and I just and I enjoy her content I tend to watch pretty much all of her videos they make me laugh and smile and sometimes they make me sad and um, I can relate to a lot of the stuff that she talks about even though I'm a fair bit older than her uh, uh, yeah I just I, I like her and she inspires me to keep going um, someone else um, I probably should have thought about this a bit harder beforehand. 
Um, I think Tati, which I know it sounds strange, I know some people don't like her. I don't watch all of her videos, and yeah, she can be overly dramatic at times. But the fact that she she's a true, um, in in my book, she is one of the hardest working YouTubers that I've I've ever encountered. I mean, she puts out videos every single day, and as someone who sometimes at certain times of the month seems to have one going up every day, that's actually really hard work. And she doesn't film in bulk a lot the way that like someone like me does. She tends to do she literally film every single day, edit every single day. And that is a lot of hard work. That is, that is dedication and the vlogging and interacting on social media and all of that stuff. She's, it's, it's pretty impressive, quite frankly. And yeah, I, I, I find that uh, inspiring. Um, and the third one... Um, I think probably it's kind of hard uh, to pick someone. I follow a lot of different people in different areas, um, but I think I think I'd have to say um, in a completely different area to what I'm involved in. Um, would be Simon Whistler. He actually has multiple channels, um, and all of them are doing pretty good. Thanks very much. Um, he actually last so last year or the year before he vlogged every single day, and some of those vlogs were quite long. Um, but it was really interesting to see behind the scenes of the other ones he does. He does the um, Today I Found Out and then there's a new bio channel and um, Top Tens Annette um, is the original one that he started. Um, of course I'm going to link all of this stuff down below. Um, it's like informative type stuff and I find that really interesting and the fact that they're putting out videos like Top Tens Annette and um, today I found out, I believe, are putting out videos basically every single day. There's a lot of work that goes into that and they, you know, they've got to do their research and stuff. And it's not just him, it's like a bunch of people, but he's the, the face of it, I guess. Um, plus, of course, he has his own channel, which he hasn't really been posting on since he uh, took a break from doing it for a whole year. Um, I can understand that. It, that's, that's, that's hard work. But those kind of people... They're, they're inspiring, they put in so much work and effort and yet they seem so normal at the same time. Um, three small under 20 subs that inspire you. Um, well, one of them would be uh, Claire Gray, uh, she's a Naily. Um, I've been watching her since she started, she's you know, relatively new. Um, Certainly newer than I am. Um, she's uh, she's from England, and she's she, funnily enough she's from a similar area to where my partner comes from. Um, she's she's just one of those people who is um, very giving to other people, and um, she's very knowledgeable about what she talks about and. She puts out a lot of videos too, which as I said, it's quite a bit of work to do that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, she just, I just really like her. She's, she's become quite a good friend over the time that she's been on YouTube. Um, yeah. Um, who else? Um, a very new YouTuber. Um, uh, her name is, I'm probably going to butcher this. Her name is Omnea, and she is part of um, one of the groups that I'm in. And she kind of came along, and it's it's not so much... I mean, she started to put out videos, and, you know, they're, they're in my wheelhouse, you know, they're beauty-type videos. But the thing that inspires me most about her is how much effort she goes to to connect with other people and give them support and um, love and you know she likes their videos and she comments on their videos in a constructive way 
um, and in a very um, caring kind of way. And she just she just gives people so much support. And I mean, I haven't known her very long, but she's just she has become very popular with uh, a lot of people that I know because she's so supportive of everybody who's in the community and that's a really nice thing and you know and she's she's got her own struggles and everything but she still is really open and positive towards other people and I really appreciate that and the last one would be uh, Zany Laney um, not just because she's kind of a boss <laughs> on Geeks and Beauties, but she is very good at giving information that helps you uh, grow your channel and um, they talk a lot on their channel about um, behind the scenes on things. Um, she also does like planning videos, like journals, and it's not something I do, but it's something that I aspire to, um, to be actually organised plan my time <laughs> um, and she's also been very friendly and supportive and helpful and she is to a lot of people and she started the Geeks and Beauties group which has been um, has been a great help to me um, as an individual and a lot of the other people who are in the group and I think that's you know because they do lots of collabs and they encourage you to support each other and find new YouTubers to support and, and I really like that and um, there's Zany Lane is actually Laney and her brother and sometimes her husband um, and Marshall's an incredible artist he does um, they actually have a wax company now which has started since I've known her and they you know it's quite geeky they um, theme everything and Marshall does all of the artwork for it which is he's really good let's face it um, yeah so you know they're they're a smaller channel but they are they're really inspiring to other people and supportive of other people and I think that's the great part of the part of the community that I'm fairly heavily involved in is the support that you give to each other it's not a competition it's it's a support network uh, number six what would you like to see where would you like to see your channel in a year well I'd like to get to a thousand subs um, 6.30, something like that. Um, not that I really look at it too hard. Um, a thousand is like the is like the golden number to start with. It would be nice to get to the point where I can re-monetize my videos. It doesn't really make me too much money and that's not really what it's about. It's, um, you know, the money that I do make, the small amount that I do make, goes back into my channel and that helps me make new content and that's you know that's a nice thing so you know I'd like to reach those magic numbers of a thousand subs minimum a thousand subs and 40,000 hours which is 240,000 minutes um, of view time for 12 months that they, they would be nice goals. I really just would like to grow my channel and become more connected with people in the community and you know, make more friends, that sort of thing. Um, be slightly more consistent with my video album. Uh, number seven, how do you handle the haters? Uh, luckily for me, I pretty much haven't had any. <laughs> Probably because I'm pretty small and uh, I don't really do anything controversial or anything. Uh, yeah, I, I really haven't, I think I probably had like one mean-ish comment and uh, my response was to thank them for taking the time to comment on my videos. Uh, I occasionally get thumbs down, but I, I really just don't, you know, I'm curious as to why they're doing it, but I really don't worry about it that much. It's, uh, that's more about them than it is about me. Um, but, you know, if I really did have somebody who was being a hater, I would just block them. Simple as that. Um, I would just block them. I, I'm not going to expend my energy on those kind of people. Um, and advice for new YouTubers. Uh, be yourself is, is number one. Don't, don't try and make yourself a carbon copy of all of the other YouTubers that you see that you aspire to be. Uh, sure, take note of what they're doing and but make it fit you as a person. 
because then you're going to feel more comfortable. It's going to show when you're doing your videos that you're not putting on an act that is actually just you and how you are as an individual. Um, don't go around asking people sub for sub. Apart from the fact it's actually against the terms of uh, service for YouTube. You're not supposed to be doing that. Um, yeah, connect with other people. Make the effort to go and talk to other people who are doing videos. Comment on their videos, like their videos. Form connections with people. Do collabs with people. Um, you know, join groups like Geeks and Beauties. Um, if you're into panning, join groups like the Pan Fam or the Fantastic Ladies, in particular if you like panning. Fantastic Ladies do lots of collab stuff. And those collabs bring new people to your channel, and that's a good thing. That's, that's kind of what you want. Don't try to, like, ask somebody who's really massive to do a collab with you, because chances are they're not going to say yes, because part of it is that um, it's about how it benefits them. If you have only got, like, 300 subscribers and they have a million subscribers, it's probably not a huge amount of benefit for them big benefit for you. Not so much for them. But you know, take the time to communicate with the bigger YouTubers as well because sometimes you never know, you might get lucky, they might shout you out and then your channel's going to grow because that's how it works. Um, but really, just be yourself and do it because you enjoy it and you want to contribute to the community. Don't look at it as a job option because unless you're very lucky and you work very hard, it's not going to happen that way for you. Um, yeah, just do it to be creative. That's, that's my advice. Um, yeah, so that was the last question. Um, I will leave all the people that I have mentioned down below in the description bar. If you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button, click the little bell in case you want notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like tag videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!